Man, look at my little wife right there. Goodness. Looking cute, girl. Looking cute. And Jisa made Melinda another birthday cake right here. Yeah, that is so cool. So Melinda's happy that today's her actual real birthday. Yesterday we just celebrated earlier for the convenience of everybody coming and for my sneakiness. <laughs> but today's the real day, so everybody give old Mel right here. I, I said old Mel. Give old Mel right here a happy birthday. Yes. Wow, and looking really cool in your jeans, boy. I like that. Look at that. Sporting them, boy. Sporting them. We're about to roll up to the city here shortly, and we're just going to have a little bit of James and Mel time. Yeah, told her, no kids. They, we took them out of the house today. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. She's want me to snap some pictures of her of this cake before it gets destroyed. Tomorrow is back to work. So if you see, we put a little bit of bamboo back up in the front again, because we need to finish those columns. And we got some other work on the front of the house. And I have some precast right there at that window that I'm gonna have done as well. So he'll need to be able to reach that. Um, so all this, we got, you know, finished work to do on the house. I mean, it's very obvious that we got finished work to do on the house. And I just drove my truck through the garage here. This is the reason I have a pass through garage. It's all the boat seats. And I moved the boat in underneath right here underneath the nipa hut that i had built actually in the beginning for a boat so slippers <laughs> we don't wear shoes in the house so if I come in the front door and kick them off there and then I end up going out the back door my slippers are stuck at the front door my flip-flops and uh, sometimes I'll have multiple pairs <laughs> and they'll all be stuck at one door or the other it's kind of funny or my wife will put them on and go wearing them yeah and then I don't have any but anyway it's a beautiful day and it's a build day check this out Yeah, nice day. So, uh, we're going to be tackling all kinds of little projects this week. We've got to take a inventory on help here. See who showed up. Oh, there's Ammon, June. Who, who, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joel, Mop Mop, Marvin, and Nardo. So, all the classes present. So we're gonna start out right up here. Yeah, we're gonna get this wood out. I'm going to uh, put them to planing it down. I'm working on it here. Yeah. 
So I'm looking at maybe going ahead and using this on my bar top down there in the house. Really like the feel of natural wood in the house. I think I want to leave a little character to it. But we'll see. This has got a lot of nice dark colors in the edges. I kind of like that where it's all kind of black. But the first thing we'll do is work the top. Then we're going to seal it so if it rains or anything it don't damage the color again. But you know what to do man. There was some little tiles around the window right here that's never been put in. Little small pieces, he's doing this one here now. Joel, you already put mortar on this one? R raise it back up and put more, listen. That's got an edge right there and the water and the soap will always be sticking there. You need to raise that tile up higher. Yeah, yeah, get that one raised back up, add more mortar underneath it. For some of you that are new to the channel, first of all, it's my beautiful little wife that just had a birthday, Melinda. <laughs> uh, you'd have to be really new not to know that. So my mock's been planing this wood down, boy, you see it here. <laughs> yeah, a lot of sawdust already. Getting down to some nice colors in here now. So those colors will really get pretty when we put an epoxy over the top of it. But I don't need this wood no three foot wide on my bar top so uh and i don't want on the side towards the kitchen all this irregular shape so we got down through mama you set that saw over out of the way we got here and we measured to leave 18 inches so so roughly this line that we made here the wide points in and out down here is roughly on an average of 18 sometimes a little over sometimes a little under but we're going to leave this natural in and outside that has all the nice coloring and all to it and the black. We're gonna leave that towards the dining room table side. And uh, this should still leave me enough right here, enough width that I can make something else out of this, make use of it. Flip this thing over earlier and cut it from the other side too with the electric saw and then he finished that last gap we couldn't get with the hand saw it took him a while though oh yeah you still got to cut this tip right here too i will we'll flip it back over so you can see it though i'm gonna mark it in here and uh we're gonna cut a notch for it to sit on top of that concrete wall right here and what i've left is about two inches on this side and it'll come across. And the average width of it, it kind of goes in and out on this side. 
the average width would be about 18 inches. We cut the back side to be nice and straight and flat down through here, sticking out two inches, and then down below here will be your regular kitchen countertop and all. And right now, we're up there carving a groove into it right here, five and a quarter inches wide. This is five inches wide. We're giving an extra quarter inch for the irregularities all in it down through there. And we'll bring it down and we'll dry fit it, see what adjustments we need to make um, and make those adjustments and get it fit down on there. Once I know that it's fitting on there good and all, then we'll take it back off and um, I'll do the final finish and stuff on it of beginning to epoxy it. But I hope it turns out great. Uh, this is 11 foot right here to this point. I made it out just a little over about 12 foot. There'll be a little overhang here at the end. Walk around, you don't stump your toes on this little wall or nothing then. And give you a little clearance out around the end. So everybody, thank you for watching again. And if each time you watch the video, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, but give it something. <laughs> and I would appreciate that as well. Um, I know that all the content that I have don't always fit all of you, but if you haven't learned by now or you're new to the channel, what you might not like today in one of the videos, tomorrow may be a whole different game because I'm a very busy person and I have many different types of things going on. And so just hold your horses if the content does not fit your viewing pleasure for today. Tomorrow's video sure might. Appreciate all of you watching. Take care and God bless.